Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Gold. We me lots off. We had just got all the slow, slow pokes back, and we defeated Bugsy from uh, Azlar Gym. I wouldn't think that's the right name, but uh, a couple things. We... I... What did I say? We, uh... I went out and leveled up my Slowpoke and the Egg Hatched. Yippee. So, to show off who's in the Egg, who else but Togepi? I named it Yuki. Gotta hate Yuki. <laughs> but, uh, Togepi starts out at level 5 and only knows Growl and Charm. So, pretty much, it. Togepi's useless for right now. Right now. Pretty much the only way you're going to be leveling Togepi up is either if you switch uh, Togepi out of battle or you have experience share. And since you don't get experience share until late on in this region, you're probably better off keeping Togepi in the box. No offense to any. But it, that like Tokepi's are would actually take the tone to level up Tokepi, but I'm not gonna do it. And uh, for those of you guys don't know, Tokepi uh, level evolves into Togetic, if that's the right name, uh, who's a flying bird Pokemon. But uh, I'm not gonna be using Tokepi whatsoever. And also, wrong thing. Uh, and a Professor Elm did ask for us to call him once the egg hatches, so let's go do that right now. <laughs> what? It hatch? Wow, what kind of Pokemon is it? Please come show me now. Yeah, we are not going through the cave. You can have fun until we get our butts back around to that point. Have fun! But, uh... Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to take the time to actually level up Togepi, so I'm going to deposit it. And I would not recommend releasing it, because if you do release it, you are not going to get another Togepi again. Unless you try one over, or you hack the game and make a wild Togepi appear. Or a golden, shiny Togepi, yeah! No, but not really. <laughs> nah, it's whatever. But like I said, we're gonna have fun because look at that, our rivals here. Hi, Raven. Is it true that Team Rocket returns? What? You beat them? Ha! <laughs> Quit lying. You're not joking. Then let's see how good you are. Ah, <sighs> whatever, Raven. Whatever. Just because it's so cocky. And as you can see, Raven uh, gets a new Pokemon. Two new Pokemon, actually. And one of them is Ghastly. Who I strum strongly messed up with when I was doing uh, the Nuzlocke challenge. Then again, that was at a different part in the game. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. And I actually probably shouldn't keep uh, Lucy in here. Because Lucy's actually weak against, uh, what is it? Ghost type. Because Lucy Slowpoke is a psychic water Pokemon. And ghost Pokemon have the advantage over a psychic. So let's just get rid of this little nuisance that is known as Ghastly. Yeah, suck one. Can't hypnotize you know. Sorry, crazy as it is. I don't think we'll want to get her any more crazier. <laughs> but since we brought out our starter Pokemon, he's going to bring out his Crocodon. I knew it didn't sound right, Crocodon. Crocodon. <laughs> Crocodon. But we're gonna bring out Shauna. <laughs> Shauna Tawn. Just because if we cut, uh, uh, you know, out, 
That would really be bad since Crockett Naw knows got a water gun. And this is about the only time <laughs> the first foul is about the only time they can actually get away with using their starter Pokemon. Then again, I guess it could get away with using a starter Pokemon if uh what was that? If he's really leveled up in like the high thirties. And again, it wouldn't be impossible for it for them to be. But I guess kind of well. Sana, that's enough. Come back, go, you know. <laughs> All right. So pretty much this is kind of the standard uh, battle. And actually, don't even know why it put. Uh, Lucy out front. That was a horrible call on my part. I knew he was going to use Ghastly. <laughs> it was the same problem I did too. Uh, uh, that was horrible memories. Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe, them, wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They ain't big and tough in a group, but get them alone and they're a weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Alright, coming from the weakling. Cough, cough. <sighs> he, he needs help. I, I really think he does. M maybe a little counseling might help him with his little Pokemon problem of the whole weakling situation. <laughs> hey, you never know. Maybe he'll find out that, hey, he's weak. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a good one. He probably won it. He'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm weak. <laughs> BS. But either way, we're going to come into the uh, Elix Forest. And we're going to have fun. And now we find out that the Farfetch that can cut, he lost it. in Elix Forest. So now we get to have a little fun of chasing down Farfetch'd in this little fun mini game. Not really. So what you want to do is kind of scare him off just like that. And the thing is Farfetch'd will kind of run away in the direction you are opposite of facing. If that makes any sense whatsoever. You're useless to me right now, so you could die. Just saying. No offense. So we're just gonna run away. And we're just gonna scare Farfetch'd away. And now we're gonna scare him this way. Ah, curse it. <laughs> Thought that would have worked. Alright, but uh, we're gonna capture this Caterpie because I think it, uh, he will help. And one thing I did forget to mention, I believe at least, uh, if you press select on a technique, you can move it around. So you just gotta press select again on the other technique you wanna switch it with. I think I at least forgot to mention that. Ah, of course it. <sighs> Darn you, Lucy. Why you have to be so strong? Kind of people's heads like that. And again, I sound like I really have any other Pokemon I can use. <laughs> yeah, go Toki. Be, be a distraction. Walk up and give Caterpie a hug. Because <laughs> we all know Caterpie loves hugs. <laughs> well, Caterpie doesn't want to hug. There we go. That's actually one, the one that would probably be better. Actually, I think water gun would probably work, since water guns are effective. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, but watch, is gonna still kill him. <laughs> Damn you! <sighs> oh, and since I actually did forget, uh, the Tokipi, in order for the Tokipi to hatch. You had to step a certain amount of steps. I want to say it's probably 5,000 for since it's pretty much like a typical egg. 
and that's pretty much from the time you first get it at uh, Professor Elm's friend's house and pretty much to the lab and then from Elm's lab no, from the second town to the next place. And now we're just going to name Paris uh, HM Slave. More so because we're going to be using him as a slave for HMs. Yay. Nah, people can't say anything because I... I know for a fact some of my friends that play this game may have an HM slide too, so yeah. Can't see anything. Damn it, Liz! Seeing her turns chase a far fetched around and you call me. <sighs> uh, what happened the other day? I must catch and hop again. Maybe I'm not very good at this. <sighs> Damn me, Liz. <laughs> the far fetch just runs away because he knows as you're talking. Uh, that'd be kind of funny. Uh, what? Where, where'd the far fetch go? Oh, damn it, Liz. Blame you. <laughs> but now that we can uh, scare our far fetch for the last time, and we get into another battle. Yay, us. See? Zubats love me. <laughs> they only they're only supposed to appear in caves uh, not really then again I actually think that's the first time I've seen a Zubat in here <laughs> oh god uh, either way you talk to the charcoal master and hey what else do you get besides cut cause huh, hey his forefetch knows cut that's all he needs <clears throat> Small trees, of course, you have to have the gym pass from Azula to use it. Yeah, 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 I know the gist. But we're gonna get a new cut. And like I said, we're gonna use the HM Slave. Cause I hate you. Yeah, as you saw, I could have used it with, uh, you know, but since it's not really a beneficial move, oh, sorry about that. But like I was saying, uh, since it's not really a beneficial move, I'm not gonna teach it. And right here is uh, Elix Shrine for the Protector of the Forest. And if you've seen, uh, it's not the second or third. I want to say maybe the fourth Pokemon movie, you'll know who, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. uh, the protector of the forest is. Then again, if, hell, even if you're a Pokemon fan and you pretty much know, uh, who it is, yeah, I don't even know where the hell I was going with that. <laughs> uh, but I think, if, yeah, I was gonna say, I think if you come down here, and search by pressing A, you'll get a free item. Free full heal. Because everybody loves full heals. Alright, so as you can see, there's a guy right there. And instead of going up, we're going to go around to kind of talk to him. Because he does have a... I can't say a helpful. But I guess a decent HM. <sighs> I'm taking trees in the head, but... Yeah, headbutt. Ram your head into a tree. Sounds fun, right? And this is the introduction of the headbutt, where you can actually headbutt a tree. Yeah, fun, isn't it? But, uh, we're actually gonna use this headbutt because right now I think it would actually help uh, Lucy out. Especially since there's really nothing else. Oh, crap. I guess that works. Whoops. Didn't mean to. So, after uh, learning 
headbutt. You press A to a tree and you can headbutt it. And you can get a sleeping Pokemon knocked out of the tree. Hey, what do you know? We get a Caterpie. Hey! No. <laughs> like I said, never again. <laughs> the only thing you'll be used for is your powders. I don't care what else. Not but literally, I pretty much only use a Caterpie for the uh, powder southerns when it's a uh, Butterfly, Butterfree. Nope. It's turn to do this. Because you can get a super potion. Yay for free items. And generally how you can find a missing item is usually when there's kind of a... I, I don't know if it would really be considered a detour, but kind of... I guess kind of an indent like that. It's usually the last space going that way that you should search for a uh, item. And that's pretty much kind of the rule of thumb. Especially if uh, a sign points out that hey, you can get free items. But uh, yeah, as you can kind of see from there, uh, you don't necessarily get items from every little place you go. <laughs> So do keep that in mind that you're not, you're not always going to find items laying around all over the place. But either way, we are done with Elix Forest. After this counter peak, it's out of the, out of the, out of the way. <laughs> Freaking counter peaks, and they're being all cute and adorable. <laughs> and look at that, there's a Venomoth, or Butterfree. Fail for me, yeah. But either way, we finally get out of Elix Forest and come here to our next little area, which is kind of actually littered with Pokemon trainers. So we're just pretty much gonna take care of all of them. Just, I can't believe I actually made the mistake of. Having to learn headbutt. And again, I guess headbutt's better than tackle, anyways. <sighs> Ooh, and actually, since I cannot just now remembered it, uh, Lucy, or Slowpoke, can actually evolve into another Pokemon instead of Slowbro. From the original one, but it's, you of course actually need an item for it to actually, for it to actually evolve into the other one. <laughs> and that item is Keen's Rock, which I think you don't get for a little while. And I think you have to get a uh, slow, yeah, uh, slow poke at level 30 with the uh, item held. For him to evolve into Slow Keen. I think, anyways. I don't know, it's been a while. But, uh. Yeah, just kind of a useful hint for the people that don't know. But then again, this game's been out for. I don't even know how long. I don't know. I know it's been like at least well probably 12 years if not more so I mean it's kind of obvious that hey it evolves to slow bro or key now I don't, even know. I don't even know with the newer generation oh he could evolve into something else <sighs> but now that we just got done with this answer we are going to be moving on to this lovely little father. So let's see how much stronger I think. God. Well, maybe it's not the father. Well, yeah, it is. Or maybe not. I don't know. But like you said, he just got his Pokemon out from the daycare. And yes, there is a daycare around here. 
it is actually relatively close to our location right now. But, uh, we just kind of had to get through this whole battle scenery. <sighs> just gotta love all these guys. I want to battle. Because it's battle-tastic. <laughs> What's it in this way? Boo-hoo-hoo. Yeah. <sighs> I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. Alright. You're lucky I'm not in your class, boy. Or else you'd be ranked second, sucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're lucky you grew up in the next city. Yeah. Huh, actually kind of found it weird that I'm actually not seeing the town's name. Even though that I've already spoiled, spoiled like three, four revolutions already. Eh, I guess so well. <laughs> uh, man, all these battles are so boring. I, I probably shouldn't have even leveled uh, Lucy up. I mean, the hardest challenge so far was the Snubble, and that was only level 13. Oh, well. I guess some more time I have to mess around. No, really? I, I thought there were horrible trainers. Especially after. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice bat practice battle they say. Yeah, well, this is really gonna turn into a practice battle. Hop it. Hey, it's just like uh, Liz wanted. Uh hop it. Yeah, I don't know why, but a hop it no splash. I I seriously don't even know why a hop hip no slash, honestly. I mean... I don't even think it's a water poke. Eh, I think it might be cons have water as a secondary. But still, I don't know why a hop hip knows water moves. No, it's definitely grass, for sure. I actually think it evolves into a sun kissed. I don't know. Oh crap. And as you can see, look at that. There's a bubble tower. First generation starter. Yeah. Yeah, and you will be seeing uh the first generation starters. Throughout this game, especially later on. You know what? Do that to you now. Brain it. Brain it, Baba Zola. But you won't do it to you now. Because <laughs> I actually switched out right there. Although, Blizzard would be easy if I actually had a psychic move for my Slowpoke curses. <laughs> Yeah, well. <laughs> but we just took out Picnicker Gina. And I know for a fact you can talk to her and get a get her number. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know so far we have only had girls' numbers. But I think there's I don't know. I think there's some guys that will give you your num their number, but you just kind of have to talk to them at the battle. But right here, we got the daycare, so you can leave your Tokopi here for it to raise if you really want it to. And right here, there's the new addition of patrols, which are only, you can only battle them at nighttime. And pretty much, they only have fire Pokemon. Big spoiler, right? <laughs> Who'd have guessed? Fire Pokemon. Oh wow, Psyduck. <laughs> hey, it's another psychic water user. 
I was like, oh, and they, uh, so Sajak was kind of so to be useless somewhat put in the game as soon as, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, in the game, he's actually pretty decent. Probably not the best. What? Oh, no, no, no. I can't even say that. He... I don't know, though. I guess he could probably be a pretty decent water Pokemon. Nothing extraordinary, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> But here we have Goldenrod City, the third gym city. And we are gonna come here, heal our Pokemon, because why the hell not? Especially when that's my Slowpoke guy kind of merged. And the, my age gym slave just kind of got rocked. Gotta keep our slave alive, because who the hell doesn't want a dead age gym slave? So we're going to withdraw the Tokipi. And actually, why not? Let's get out the Onyx, too. So I'll actually uh, kind of show off the daycare. Even though... Uh, I don't think I showed it off in the... Eh, I think I might have. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to show it off. Sure, you can talk to this guy, or... Uh, the wife in order to raise uh, Pokemon. And we're gonna leave Tokipi. And we can actually leave a second... No. Okay, maybe we had to talk to both of them. Our socks find an egg. How could, it, could that be? Should I raise a Pokemon for you? No, I guess it was later on. But, uh, yeah, if you talk to both of them, you can leave one Pokemon with each of them. And you can kind of forget about them. Especially if they're weak. No offense. But, yeah, you can kind of leave them here, front around like a psychopath, madman, whatever you want to do. And when you come back, uh, depending on how many steps you took, they will be leveled up. And like I said, in Goldenrod City, which is the third one, Goldenrod City is kind of the Celadon of the Kanto, Soto, whatever the hell region this is. I'm, I don't think I'm going to remember it until like the end of this game and it's going to be like, ha, I know the difference. And then that's where I'm done. I'm just going to be like, what the hell were the regions good? But yeah. Uh, this has pretty much the whole six floors. Just like Celadon City. All your needs. And just like Celadon City. It actually has a game corner. Which is a... Uh, yeah. Right here. I was going to say. I think it might be right here. I can't remember. <laughs> but just like in the very first game. You need a coin case. And unfortunately, it's kind of buried within. And over here is the prize section, but of course we don't have coins, so we can't see the prizes. Although, I know for a fact, I think you do get a... You can buy an Eevee in the game, corn, game prize. And over here is where you're going to get the game... Oh, what was that? <laughs> you got kicked out, but, uh, the coin case. I was sitting there like, what the hell is it called? But yeah, like I was saying, uh, if you come down here, I'm going to try and make this fast so this episode doesn't end out super long. Oh yeah, hard and all you want, Grimer. What's it gonna say, Grimmer? <laughs> I guess it probably could be read as Grimmer too, but yeah. How? Wait a minute. 
So, he just said he was trying to cheat with this Pokemon. Yeah, he only has two Grimers. How the hell would you cheat a uh, slot machine with a Grimer? Uh hell? Uh, I guess that's kind of the uh, imagination. Seriously though, like, how would you even cheat a... How would you even cheat that? But, uh, over here you can get the coin case. And now you can sit there and gamble your money, life savings away, whatever the hell you want to call it. On, oh, I would actually go down there and actually clear out that area because... Ah, uh, spoiler alert, you're going to be going down there later on in the game. Although, if you go down there later on in the game, you can just kind of murk that place. You can just, uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to spend 10,000, get 500 coins. Because, hey, I'm probably not going to use coins for anything necessary uh, this early in the game. But I'm just gonna kind of show off all the prizes. Got the three TMs, which are kind of my serious. Yippee. And over here is uh, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemons. You got the Abras, you got the Ekans, and you got the Jortinis. Now, <laughs> just like in the other game, I'm probably gonna use an Abra and a Jortini along with my kind of team I have right now. Actually, I don't know why I got a slow poke. I mean, Abra's... <laughs> like I said in Pokemon Red and Blue, Abra's and Kadabra's just kind of rape. Although, I guess I could just use a slow poke and substitute some of the Abra's and Kadabra's so I don't kind of go around marking the place. Oh, and actually, since I kind of remembered, uh, there are coins kind of scattered around this place, so you can kind of uh, look around, pressing A to find them. I can't remember how many are actually kind of scattered around this place. I don't think there's that many. I think probably only two or three piles. I can't remember what the hell they are. I don't know, but uh, if you want to waste time here, you can kind of search the area if you want. I'm not going to bother with it for right now. But to kind of hurry up and finish this detour, if you come down here, you can get a bike. Because, hey, if you remember the guy from uh, Celadon City, he moved here to sell bikes. And so we'll give you a free bike for a loan for uh, kind of riding it around advertising. Huh. I call BS so you can ride it anywhere. I bet if I equip it right now, I can't use it because old man Jenkins is going to be sitting there and saying, huh, you can't use that here. Freaking Professor Oak all over the place. Huh. Scary, this time isn't the time to use that. It's Oh my god. But uh, yeah, if you can't, you can use the bike. Yay, because everyone likes bikes. And hey, look at that suspicious looking guy right here. I wonder who that could be. Could be a Team Rocket lackey, could it? But uh, here's the radio tower where Professor Oak said he was going to be. And if you talk to this guy, uh, he runs his lucky number so. <laughs> And he'll kind of look at your Pokemon to see if you have a match. And you can actually be really lucky to get a match. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head all the prizes for each number you get corresponding with it. But I know for a fact that in Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow... Since I actually do think they have that in uh, that game. That if you did have all six numbers correct, that you do get a Master Ball. So, yeah, it's all up to luck. 
Ah, sorry about that. But uh, if you come over here, you can kind of answer five questions correctly to get a radio card. And if, with a radio card, you can listen to the radio anytime. It's so a question wrong. One, the Talmac computer is played on the book here. That to be true, which it is. Can it ring only be female? I can't remember which one it is, but I think that's true. Uh, question 30, does Kurt, the Pokeball craftsman, use Epicons? He does. Wait, what? Okay, I got that one before. I know I did. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's just because of how it's question that makes it kind of whoop. Uh, does Kurt, the Pokeball craftsman, use Apricorn? Oh, uh, I think that's the Pokemon. Don't remember. Uh, Matt's Kurt won't learn any TMs. I think that's actually fu- ah. I hate this game. I swear Matt's Kurt's- uh, Maybe that's later on in generations. Or maybe I'm just freaking stupid and don't remember anything. Seriously, though, like, it. You would kind of assume that, hey, magic cards can learn TM because, hey, it's a Pokemon, right? Seriously, though, like, what? That would make sense. I mean, even if it. Okay, did I not say no? But if I said. Yes, the first time. Was I wrong? Oh, right. Said, so, uh, it'd be a deg double negative. Professor Oak, Pokemon Talk is a very popular program. Is Marie the co host? I believe. Yeah. So, no. No. Alright. I often think they. I don't even think Professor Oak mentions it at the very beginning who are, who his co-host is, honestly. It's like, the only way you can really know it is if you memorize it from the first time you play it. And I don't even think Professor Oak's actually here in the tower. Yeah, because he can't go up. And if Professor Oak is here, he would be on the higher level radio. Radio. Higher level than... The second floor. <laughs> Seriously, they're like... Ah, I don't like that. Oh, right. Mary's the uh, one that talks about Pokemon. I don't know why I forgot about that. But, uh... The very last one is the Pokemon Center. And it's the final... Kind of... Uh... Gadget you can get. I mean, if you can uh, talk around. Yeah. What? Okay. Did did I read that wrong? Or did the question not say Mary is the co-host, right? So, isn't that right? Because it's Oak and Mary? WTF. But, uh, yeah, if you can uh, listen to... Uh, uh, listen to it. It will pretty much talk about all the Pokemon you've seen so far and kind of talk about what routes can see them and sometimes, uh, what is it? Protectively friendly? I think it might be a little too friendly. Uh, but I think when I first tur turned into this, it does kind of say sometimes it that evolutions but that's pokemon talk uh pokemon music kind of just is a lullaby i do believe today's one it's chill out with pokemon lullaby got the lucky channel which is guy from uh the one that checks your eye pokemon's id for the lucky number to see if you can get a master ball. 
And I think kind of odds are 10 is uh, the other region. Okay. Kanto. I'm never going to remember that. I, I seriously won't. I'll remember it like at the end of the game. I honestly swear. And right here is the Goldoran City Station. You can't use it right now because of a little problem going on. So don't expect to be using it. And right here we got the gym. We're not going to bother with this that in this episode. I hate that gym for my life. And of course get a call from Liz. I'm going to win this time. I'll be waiting for you. Now, so after, I don't know, like five calls from her, she finally wants a battle. And up here, we can talk to uh, Jim Lear's mom and her little sister. <laughs> but it takes on, like, Whitney or Jim Lear to beat it. Alright, whatever. <laughs> but we're just going to ignore her for now. And finally, our last thing is... The name changer, aka the name writer. You can talk to him and he can change the Pokemon's name of any Pokemon you have, except traded ones, I do believe. And up here is the underground entrance. But uh, that's pretty much it for Goldoran City. So, kind of before I wrap up this episode, I'm just actually going to go back to the. What was it? daycare and kind of see how far they've actually leveled up yes by four levels since we dropped it off now f pretty much for every level it gains you have to pay one hundred dollars to get it back on top of the original hundred oh crap no 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 I didn't want it back you can take it back. But, uh, oh, yeah, one thing I would say watch out for, uh, what was it? For, uh, when you leave your Pokemon at the daycare center, if you have a move that you want to keep, you should probably raise your Pokemon, uh, by yourself because uh, what was that uh, when you leave your Pokemon at the daycare center the Pokemon or the uh, what was that daycare people will just kind of be like hey, you don't need this move I'm going to delete it and pretty much take care of the moves for themselves so if you have kind of a TM you want your Pokemon to know you should probably wait until you get your Pokemon out of the daycare center first before you teach it to them. Or if you have a Pokemon that knows a certain move only from levels, you probably want to pull it out at the level at the level it learns it at or level before to make sure that it learns it or, uh, yeah, pretty much learns it. So this one should probably have leveled up more. Five. Yeah. So level eight. One behind. So pretty much, like I said, that's the only thing I'm going to be doing with this episode. Since it's way over than what I was actually expecting it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the tour of Goldenrod, uh, Goldenrod City. So with that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to call an episode. Because ugh, I don't want to fight any more trainers. But, uh... What was it? Uh, that's it for this episode. And in the next episode... I don't think I'm going to take on Winnie quite yet. But, uh... I'll show you the next little area of this game which is actually kind of interesting for uh what was it uh kind of a new development in this game from pokemon red blue and yellow but uh 
yeah, like I said, I'll save that for the next for the next time, which will probably actually be tomorrow since. Hold on. Yeah, th I want to say it does start tomorrow. Or maybe it's today. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna save it for the next episode and see you guys in the next episode when we do that and possibly take all winning. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Have a good day, everyone.